Okay, so 3v2 in favour here, yellows. So you're shooting that way, yes? So if you're ever in danger, where'd you go? Recycle, play the ball round. Yep. When it does get in here, what's it got to be? Quick, killer pass. Wrap it in that we were looking at yet last night with the 14s. Okay, yes? Play. Unlucky Jack, good idea. Good, good spot. Unlucky, let's go Tate. Blue ball. Clever Jack, well played, unlucky. Yellow ball. Great movement, Jack. Good idea, Reg. Okay, relax. Swap over like you would. What was really good with Jack there? His movement. Did he show that strike, striker instinct of getting in front of the man? Yep. Would you agree? Set? Listen, the clever players will be the ones that can find that little pocket space. Is it tight in here? Is it, are we going to make mistakes? Yes. If we keep playing backwards and sideways all the time, what will happen? Right, so sometimes you might have to take those little risks with your movement and your passes. Like we looked at last night, little ones around the corner, things like that. Ready, Jay? Play. Find those passing lanes, pockets of space. Good. Thank you, pass appreciation, man. Okay, relax. What am I going to say, Foxy? You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Offer behind the football. So, yes, when we go into the half stuff, it's very easy to go, oh, well, it's not on my half. I'm just going to stand here. But that's a great opportunity to suck them out and offer depth. Good ball back in the reg, quick. So rather than stand there, JB, you're in good space here, but demand the ball. Because as soon as that goes there, what happens to the reds? They change their body shape. They have a look now, and now have we got an overload in this area, playing out from the back. So we might get random somehow. Yep, that gives them a chance to do what? The top yellows. Move and create a bit of space and replace space. Confuse the reds and we get in. Does that make sense? So listen, is it going to be tight in here? Yes. Think away from the ball. Are you released pass? You've released the pressure. Play on. Great take, Boxy. Good spot, Eric. Oh, nearly. Play on. Ah, Sam, is it too tight in there, mister? Good idea, Jay. Just look after it. Be brave. Take risks. Be brave. Again, what was great about Jack? His movement to get in front of people. He wanted to score that goal. Does that make sense? He wanted that ball more than anyone else. You've got your shape sorted. Just, Matty Hassel, just angle that red line in for me. My OCD will play up. Ready? Stay in the pitch, Boxer, you little cheat. I saw you. Good, great little pull out, Nath. Nath. Great little pull out and recognising that, but the pass appreciation, think about that, mate. What happened to the ball? What happened to the ball? Forget that, come here, what happened to the ball? No, it came up here to Louis. So you've worked your space lovely and then you've given him a little chip one, give him something he can work with, yeah? Good lad. Brilliant, yellows and reds. Superb. Stop hitting that woodwork. Brilliant, unlucky. Let's go, Blue. Oh, hey. Let's go, Blues. Lou, what did you do? What do you think I'm looking for from you guys in that practice? Yeah. So explosive movement, playing quickly, whether it's one or two, we'd probably presume it's going to be quick. Three, you could probably still play quick, but the more minimum, minimal touches, probably the quicker you're going to move it. 
finding pockets of space, breaking, you're going to say it, breaking lines, okay, clever play. So all of that is in there. Is it quick, fast, all over the shop? Sometimes, it's, the, the area's tight and there's a reason why it's tight for you to deal with the ball. Opposed and having that bit of pressure because that's when that affects what? When you have a bit of pressure, it affects what? Your technique. Okay? Now we're going to make it even more fast and furious because you're going to take the halfway line out and you can go wherever you want. Okay? Still the same rules apply. We've been saying with the 14s for the past two, three weeks, leave the balls past two, three weeks. Make their, make their minds up for them. So your explosive movement quickly might make their mind up for them. All right? Find pockets of space. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Try something different. There'll, there'll be times where there'll be ones around the corner. There was one just as we started playing with that Jack Spong's little Maradona. It's not even a turn, it's a pass. And he gives it that and goes the other way. Try these little things. These are your times to try it. It's tight. You, the clever players will be the ones that will get you out and away. All right? Who's in the? Who's on the outside? Oh, last one on your knee. Yeah, those are outside. Jack, did you just not hear it? You didn't leave it in there. Leave it in there. Might be. Might. Might give you some sort of positioning. Blues are shooting that way, yeah? Play. Now it'll be even more tire. Think about the ball, Jack. Luke, show commitment, not disappointment, you. Clever, Jack. What we just spoke about, wasn't it? Yeah? Something to unlock the door. You got that nailed now, haven't you, that one? That's like the Jack Spong move. Play. Have we got a release pass? Good, Pac-Man. Your shoulders. Good. Great movement of the ball. Great movement. Well played. Great feet, Jack. Just, Jack, just to finish. Play on, react to it, yellows. Better. Tempo went right up then, didn't it? Well done. Okay. Go back. Hard done by Blues. Hard done by, but did we show commitment or disappointment? Ready? Stay in. Play. Better. Great pass, JB. Good spot, young man. Yeah, that's moving it. Lovely. Go on, Luke. Good, good link up, mister. Good. Is a release pass? Yes. Yes, Pass appreciation, Tay. Have a think about it. Who's that on the outside? Last one off the floor. Last one off the floor. You're still back on the floor. How, how might you get off the floor? Last team off the floor. 
Jack Leahy again, yellows. Good idea. Yellows on the outside, let's go. Come on, ready? Ready, we're playing. Stood still, yellows on the outside, too static. Replace space on the outside. Great take, Jay. Well done, you two. It's a little man battle. Good, let's go. Little man battle, that was. Little man battle. Great, great little pocket, Eric. Brilliant, Eric. Great wrap, Boxy. That's the wrapping that we're talking about, those passes. Like the idea, is it tight? Stay there, don't move. Eric, come here. Is it tight? Go in there. Just, did you have that sort of passing lane? Bit smaller? Go on then, make it a bit smaller. Happy? Yeah? Could you? Brilliant. Play on. What do we just say to Matty Burgess? It might be there, but if you can wrap it in rather than float it, because if you float it, what does it give, what does it give them a chance? That look good, Matty. Okay, real easy setup, and it will start off basic, but then it will get a lot more complex, and you need to make sure you're switched on. Four mannequins around the outside, and then there's four on the inside in here as well, okay? The ones on the inside, don't worry about them, that's towards the end, but also, they're, they're good, and they're, the reason why there's mannequins there is because what could that actually be? Defenders. Defenders. So there's a bit of traffic for you. Okay. You're going to set up like this. Two in here. Yep. Two in the middle. One out there. Does that make sense? And you're going to do that both sides. And the first bit, we're just going to get your technique going and you understanding the routine. So there'll be six either sides. So if you look at it now in your line, so forget that it's in a box. The box will become apparent later on. But you're literally, so if you're in that six, you're going to work this side, and you're going to work this side. Happy? Yeah. The two start with the ball. That's all I want to start off with. That's easy, isn't it? Come on, combinations. Talk people through it. Think about the tight area possession we've just done in there. Be imaginative, creative, whatever you want to do. Play. Yeah, Jack, one, two, one. Play. Yeah. Yeah, Jack. Don't overplay. Sam Packham, don't overplay. Make it fluid. Yeah, ball, good. Make it fluid, change it up. You might not go through them, Max. You might totally miss them out. Good idea, young man. Well done. Think about it. Deal with the ball, Boxy, first, yeah? Reg, I should have two in the middle, yeah? Talk, communicate. Good, Boxy. Keep playing, see if you can do this, keep playing and listen. Keep playing. Can you now swap the, swap the two in the middle and be fluid without stopping the play? 
How you do that is up to you. But don't stop the play. How can you change the two in the middle? Good, good information, Max. Well done. Good organisation, you. Well, what do you think these two are coming in to do now? Defend. So now we're looking at how we can stretch these boys. So for instance, if me and Jack are working together and we're in close proximity, what can Sam do? Pick us off. Now if we look about how well, if I come to the ball and Spongy thinks away, yep, go on. Now depending on where he is, I can open out and turn. I might bounce and we play round. Does that make sense? So now you're seeing the importance Matty Astor, we've seen the importance of stretching the game, playing on the opposites, thinking away from the ball. How you two defend is totally up to you. If you want to go as a pair, fine. If you want to go one each, if you want to go whatsoever around your doorstep, you might just stay compact in here and protect the middle. Two centre-halves, have a little chat, how are you going to do it? Happy? Ready? Play! Good Ed, well done Ed, good lads. Okay, relax. Now what happens to your technique? It's affected because it's opposed. Also, what happens? Nath, what happened there? You play the ball with someone on the ball, so what might you have to do? Communicate. Communicate. Talk people through it. Get your head up, paint pictures early. It's going to be tricky for you now. Have a think of how you're going to do it. Uh, JB, come and start up here with the ball, please. You come and start up here. Ready? Explosive movement. No, still stay that side for me. Yep. Play. Good choice, Boxy. Good idea, Jack. Great pass, young man. Great way to pass, JB. Look after the qualities, too many straight passes. Well read, Ed. Okay, relax. Well done. But now there's a bit of opposition and a bit of pressure. What's happened to our passes now? We've just gone a bit longer, which, listen, that's fine. But, Kat, are you still overloaded? Could you play through them? Yeah. Yeah? What are the percentages of us keeping that ball? 70-30 in favour because we're all technically good at passing the ball. What's, us, what's the percentage of me keeping the ball from here to here? I'd like to think probably 90, high 90s. So how can you work your way through? Don't forget you've still got an overload with them. And Ed was really clever because this side was going long quite often. So what did you do, Ed? Read the flight of the ball, you dropped and then you got, went on his touch and nicked the ball. 
Try and play your way through. Communicate, talk. Ready? Ready? Right. So, Matt Bird, just, just go and angle in on there with that ball, please. Go up there with him. Ready? Looking for the clever ones. Play. Brilliant, Ed. Brilliant, Ed. Think away, Lou. Passing lanes. Good angles, man. Good. Lou, Lou, Max, come here. Leave the game again. It's all right. It's fine. You've got to think of a way of getting out. Right, so if they're coming from there and they've got to get from A to B, right, and, you've, and, the, and you're overloading in the, in the game, what would happen? So if you're overloading the game, you'd drop, wouldn't you? Because you can't go and press because they'll play around you. So how might you drop in this game? Let them have it. Where have they got to get to? Right, so don't drop too deep, they look silly, but just let them have it. Let's sit here, let them have it, let them have it, let them have it, let them have it. Come on. Game over. You should have shut your shoulders. Hey, you two, although we didn't paint that picture, that makes sense. So if you're overloaded, like you would in the game, just drop and let them have the play in front of them. You know where they've got to get to. So what was, what's that for them? Their, that's their goal. But if you go really high, what are they going to do? Just play around you. In you come. Come on, Boxy. Three key rocks from that. Three key things you think, right, I'm going to take that away from today. From this passing rotation in the midfield. Right, but can we all stay away? So then we'll, we'll, listen, we'll revisit this next week where we'll have the chance that actually it won't be just the, the yellow staying away. The red and yellow will inter, in, in, interlink and change positions. But we're going to walk before we can run because what happens at the moment is everyone gets on the top of the ball, don't they? Does that make sense? So we have one stay away and then did that help when the defenders came in? Yep, so the picture that we painted there, Ed had, had the time of his life because he had both defenders in front of him and you could see it and they were within five yards. So you just start making, doing the attacking principles, width, depth, for making as much space as possible, you cause them a problem. Definitely one, staying away from the ball. Two more to get. What would be another one from that that you think? Oh, rotations. rotations. So 13s, we were looking at it last year with you as 12s, so you can't now move on your own. Now you get to 11 v 11, it gets a bit more tactical, doesn't it? So it's not a small side where you can go and find space and that's you done. You need to work with others. So you might replace space. You might drop in that hole and do a selfish run just to run someone else off to then get the ball. One more, go on. Variation, what do you mean by variation? So something we struggled with at the start of the year 40s, didn't we? We wanted to be that pretty football team playing out from the back. And if you keep going backwards and sideways all the time, what's going to happen? They're going to creep, they're going to creep, and they're going to close you in. So you need that release pass. You need that little bit of innovation where you might play one around the corner. You might dink one up and over, you might scoop one. And then the last one that we looked at in the tight area possession as well in here, make their, make their minds up. How do you make their minds up? Uh, sharp, sharp. sharp, deliberate, dynamic movement. All right, happy? Well done, Grab a, uh, get a quick drink. And then I want all the mannequins in for me. Well done.